the home cooks have 60 minutes to elevate the classic Canadian Nanaimo bar to a restaurant quality dessert. What the hell is burning? My caramel burn. At the end of this challenge, at least one home cook will be sent home. This challenge is going to be really difficult for these cooks, and I'm happy that I'm watching from the gallery. Do you have any cream, Pino? Yeah. Can I borrow just a smidge? I just need a touch. Thanks, hon. You're welcome. I didn't make that soft custardy stuff. Eggs, cream, milk. Sometimes we help each other out, but step by step, how do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do that? I found that very strange. Samara, what do you think? Honestly, Carly has to ask Tamara in top nine how to make a custard. Add cornstarch to cold water and then mix it in the mixture. You're doing something that you don't know how to do. It's, it's what I would have done. It's just more of making sure that you're doing it the right way. This is not good. I put my cream in the blast chiller, and now it's frozen. And I'm not going to be able to put it in my piping bank. I'm in trouble here. The clock is my worst enemy. Put my um, pie crust in the oven too late. Slipped my mind. I didn't realize I had to bake it. Hi, Julie. Hi. What are you doing? An enamel bar. And yes, and? I'm changing up a lot. I infused some espresso into my ganache. I'm making a raspberry filling, but I'm going to put Philadelphia cream cheese. Julie is not really using anything that's in an Nanaimo bar. You got the form right, but maybe the content's a little bit mixed up. Who's going to go home then? Who do you want to go home? Oh, really? <laughs> Kayla. <laughs> I heard that, Julie. Someone's got to go home. Tamara. Yes, Chef. Tell me what you're working on. Uh, today, I am making uh, two types of deep-fried pierogies. And what kind of dough is that? Uh, it's uh, chocolate, cocoa. You think this is the winning dish? Absolutely, Chef. Suitable for a high-class restaurant? I can guarantee it, Chef. This is down to the final few, and this is when I want to really shine. Well, I wish you the best of luck with it. Thank you. I've never made truffles before. I've got my custard going. I've got my bowl chilling in the fridge for my whipped cream, a double boiler to melt my chocolate, frying pan on the stove with my coconut. I've never been so confused or all over the place in the MasterChef Canada kitchen like I am today. Candies are way harder to make than I thought. It's hard thinking on your feet sometimes, you know? I grabbed cupcake liners and stacked my chocolate and my custard inside those. And I stuck with the blast chiller for the last five minutes. Five minutes left! You have five minutes to put together a beautiful dessert for us, or it will be your last five minutes in the MasterChef Canada kitchen. Eric, Eric. you're burning again! Damn it! Uh, it's on Totally he is actually burnt. I think it's his caramel again. He's, burnt it twice. Twice. He's almost in tears. I put my crust on the plate and I see it crack down the middle. Kayla's demolding her uh, panna cotta. She's wow. got one out successfully. I used the wrong chocolate. The only thing that I do to fix it is add confectioner's sugar, but it's also kind of drying up my ganache a little bit. It's a hot mess. One minute, final one minute, everything on the plate. Oh. They're running out of time. I don't see any plating, come on! Broken because if I would have just been smart and left off the two panna cottas that didn't set perfectly, I would have a stunning dish right now. Look at this, it's ugly. Maybe it'll be double elimination to both Italians. I'm pretty happy about my dessert because like at the end I just did a quick caramel. Really hot. I I try to do a lot. How'd you do? For today's elimination challenge, we asked you to make a beautiful restaurant quality dessert based on a beloved Canadian classic, the Nanaimo bar. Pino, please bring up your dish. I had the vision in my head, but when it came to putting it on that plate, I just destroyed it. It's embarrassing. 
Tell me what's in it. I tried to incorporate the coconut and uh, walnuts inside the crust and the chocolate. I was hoping at uh, this level of the competition that I wouldn't have to see food that looks like this. Crust looks a little thick. The coconut barely comes out for me. Yeah, I, I'm so I don't even know what to say. It's unnecessary, right? It's a mess. Pino, Pino, Pino. Chef Alvin. You know that looks like a mess. I think it tastes pretty bad, too. You got to do a lot better. Yes, Chef. A lot better. I'm top nine in MasterChef Canada Kitchen, and this is what I put on a plate? It's embarrassing. Fuck. Eric? Walk me through it. What is it? The top is supposed to represent, like, the custard of the Nanaimo bar. It's flavored the same as the vanilla and icy sugar. The inside's filled with uh, chocolate mousse. So you make caramel not once, not twice, three times. Yeah, chef. Uh, I made a quick caramel at the end just to candy my nuts. Did you have time to taste it? No, chef. I want you to tell me if you recovered from that mistake. Tastes pretty good. I think you're right. Mistakes aren't always a bad thing. Thank you, Chef. Carly, you're up next. What are they? It's a toasted coconut and white chocolate cup with custard and walnut filling on a chocolate liqueur ganache. You know, every great chef cooks in their head. They taste in their head. They present food in their mind. They dream about food. Did this come out the way you envisioned? No, I envisioned it that they were in ball form. Um, I couldn't really figure out a way to do that. So in the last five minutes, I put them in a cup. It's just so drab, so blah. It's very dry. Unfortunately, you're right. This is not what I would come to expect at this stage at all. Carly! Chef Elvin. If that was served in a restaurant, they would send it back and say, what the hell was wrong? This is the custard, right? This is Master Chef Canada. And you said you hope to win. But with that, you don't have a hope.